हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सॉलिड्स आमर फोर्स एंड क्रिस्टल एंड मेटेरियल्स लेट्स बिगेन इन जनरल देर आर फोर स्टेट्स और फेस ऑफ मैटर स्टेट्स ऑफ मैटर we classified as solids liquids gases and plasma in generally the states of matter are classified further study indicates another states of matter like further study indicates another states of matter are bose einstein einstein condensates bose einstein condensate न्यूट्रॉन डीजेनरेट मैटर क्वार ग्लूऑन प्लाज्मा मैटर एंड सो ऑन till now up to 22 number of uh, states of matter is introduced as far as the research and experiment is concerned on solid states the past four states that is solids liquids gases and plasma are low energy states or we can say it as classical states whereas next states of matter are fermionic condensate as high energy states or we can say modern states of matter here a state of matter that is quark gluon plasma matter which one is very high energy state in which elementary particles quarks becomes free and able to move independently in a sea of subatomic particles that subatomic particles are called gluon now as our general treatment of states of matter solids liquid gases and plasma in solids they have definite shape and fixed volume whereas the liquids have uh, no such definite shape but fixed volume in gases don't have definite shape and volume but are compressible fluids which uh, conform to the shape of its container and even possess a tendency to expand to fill the container in that way the states of matter are classified further 
when we are dealing with solid states solid state physics study about solid states all solids have the property of incompressibility rigidity and mechanical strength and in that of solid state the atoms come close together to form solid and the elementary particles in the atoms interact with each other resulting in a change in the behavior and this behavior of solid may be quite different from the behavior of individual atoms and that nature of atoms inside that of solids their internal structures and uh, interatomic forces and manner of arrangement of atoms determine the formation of a solid so we classify that solids on the basis of extra diffraction on the basis of X-ray diffraction, solid states, are classified as. is crystalline another one is amorphous crystalline solid next one is amorphous solid one is crystalline solids and another one is amorphous solids now we have to discuss some basic key points in between crystalline solids and amorphous solids first crystalline solids in crystalline solids the constituent atoms of a solid are arranged in a definite regular and repeated geometric pattern throughout that entire three dimensional network of that of crystal and that type of solid is known as crystalline solid in the same way in case of amorphous solids the constituent atoms of that of solid are not arranged in definite geometrical pattern but are arranged in a random manner and that kind of solid is known as an amorphous solid some examples of crystalline solids rock salt quartz mica sugar calcite alum ice methanol copper sulfate sulfur diamond these are some examples of crystalline solids in the same way 
the examples of amorphous solids glass cement polymers rubber talc powder many plastics are some examples of amorphous solids next on the basis of their properties what be the key points among crystalline solids and amorphous solids properties in crystalline solids the constituent atoms ions or molecules are arranged in a definite regular geometric pattern whereas in case of amorphous solids they don't possess definite geometric shape in crystalline solids we found that they are in stable state stable state because the potential energy of the configuration of the constituent particles is minimum in that particular crystalline solids therefore we have that crystalline solids in stable form whereas in amorphous solids we don't have equally strong bonds therefore uh, this kind of uh, solids are not in stable form there is a long range order in the structure of crystalline solids in that of amorphous condition there may be short range order in the structure of amorphous solids because uh, the particles are arranged in a regular manner up to a small region only therefore the range is short in crystalline solids have sharp melting point sharp melting point in the sense they suddenly convert into liquid state at a definite temperature at a definite temperature they suddenly jump to the liquid states so it has sharp melting point in case of amorphous solids don't have sharp melting point first the solids soften and then finally melt therefore it has uh, not such kind of sharp melting point as we see in case of crystalline solids crystalline solids are anisotropic anisotropic is that condition we say that is anisotropic in the sense their physical properties like electrical conductivity thermal conductivity thermal expansion refractive index mechanical strength etc are different in different directions these physical properties are different in different directions as it is independent of the direction therefore we say the crystalline solids are anisotropic whereas in case of amorphous these are isotropic in nature means they depend upon the directions the physical properties remain same in all directions in case of amorphous in crystalline the solids are bounded by flat surfaces in amorphous they are not bounded by flat surfaces this kind of uh, solids are called true solids but amorphous are not true solids but it is known as pseudo solids because due to the short range order small parts of the amorphous solids may be crystalline and rest may be non crystalline so that 
this kind of solids are known as not a true solids, but we classify as pseudo solids. As we show the structure uh, comparison in between these two structure difference in between these two the basic difference as uh, the crystalline and uh, amorphous solids as amorphous have short range whereas crystalline has high range high range order means long range order if we say the pattern of the structure the pattern of the structure <laughs> if uh, we colorized as red color as a non color as b and these structures are well organized and it has uh, a periodic arrangements of atoms, but in case of amorphous solids, these are not proper organized in case of amorphous there will be no regular periodic arrangement of atoms to show that structure of amorphous solids. But in case of crystalline, it is uh, periodic and a particular pattern, it follows the arrangement of atoms inside that crystalline solids. So, with the help of this video lecture, we understand the concept of solids as amorphous and crystalline materials. We classify the solids on the basis of extra diffraction as crystalline and am amorphous solids. And basic uh, key different points in between these two kinds of solids, some basic points of crystalline solids and amorphous solids with their examples. some properties difference in between these two and finally the structure difference in between these two so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up this session thank you